Hey guys, what's up? How are we doing? In today's video, we're going to talk all about Nuez HD Skin Twist and Light Powder by Make Forever. We're going to do a demo on it and I have a few comparisons here in my collection to show you. That's all the glow that you can see far away. If this is first time passing by, I am Gigi. I love to talk about makeup. If you love that kind of content, do make sure to click on the red button down there that says subscribe. And without further ado, let's... Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be trying a new HD Twist and Light Powder by Makeup Forever. I am very, very excited for this powder. I picked up the shade Medium and this is our outer package. I was excited because I, as soon as I saw this, it just reminded me of my Holy Grail. Givenchy personal liver powder the one that has four tones I have the shade four and this one has a light salmon shade a deeper salmon shade a purple and a green you're meant to mix them together and it's gonna be a correcting powder but it's going to set your base Makeup Forever, however, doesn't claim to actually set your base. It's just a finishing powder, a perfecting powder, and it is actually luminous. So even though this wasn't meant to be a setting powder as this is, I still wanted to try it out because it also claims to be blurring, but this one in a glowy form. So if you have dry skin, I feel like you me like something like this if you felt like the Jimin she was just too matte for your liking then we're gonna be testing the new one by makeup forever i did apply my base and today i decided to apply the um newest curlhan foundation which is a glowy foundation so this is what we have going on right now i haven't set the foundation so this is it it's a self-setting foundation but i still go ahead always and set it lightly with powder um, let's talk about the powder first of all this is the packaging i am really liking the whole nude uh, route that they're going with i picked up the shade medium too when you open it up this is what it looks like inside so it has this cool technology where you twist up so you're meant to hold on to the base of it you twist clockwise so like this and you put it right back and then you get powder right in there just the right amount of powder so you don't waste any how genius are them i don't know i like that i really like that <laughs> anyhow you don't get a ton of powder which is good right you're not gonna be wasteful if you need more you just twist it up again um let's talk about some claims on these so this powder it retails for 60 dollars so similar price as the Givenchy. Givenchy is a little bit more pricey it comes into four different shades i picked up medium but we have a light for fair skin tones which has a pastel blue a pink and a little yellow tone and then we have a tan and then we have a deep which is very nice it claims to be light coverage radiant finish long wearing it is a loose powder and is good for an uneven texture i am very uneven i have a ton of breakouts and hyperpigmentations so i don't know for what's worth your <laughs> this review may help um this is a three in one ultra fine loose finishing powder that blurs color corrects and illuminates your complexion while delivering radiance and blur highlighted ingredients fine flat pearls reflect light in a linear way for flattening let from within love powders diffuse light creating a blur and self-focus effect sputter includes different shades skin tone shade to even out discoloration correcting shade to neutralize undertones and color reviving shade for a lid from within result i already did a little swatchy swatchy and in fact let's do that right now as soon as you twist up the powder you're gonna get them all mixed up like you're not really going to be able to pick the color that you want to use so let's just go ahead and mix these powders and i'm gonna show you a little swatch just a little bit far from the light so you can see that it gives a little bit of coverage it is very light so you know it's gonna highlight but it blends very nicely as you can see however they're like specks of 
shimmer all throughout the powder. It's not really glitter, but it's very, very fine, fine specks of something. This may be impossible to catch on camera. I may be able to see if this is gonna catch, but you can see how beautiful that sheen is. So if what you're looking for is that, you know, to finish the face is beautiful. So when I got the powder, I thought, you know, maybe this is meant to be similar to our glasses, you know, finishing powders. Um, this is the metal shade, it's called Radiant Delight, which is actually perfect for my complexion. And again, if you look at it very, very closely, you're gonna see the same specs of shimmer that you get with this one but these the makeup forever in the medium shade just being lighter in tone so if you really love this by our class then i think it's gonna be similar vibes i'm not sure i didn't choose to apply any bronzer or anything i think i should just bronzer we're not gonna apply any um blush so this is a matte bronzer by your and i have a lighter ton this powder is so so pigmented and because i didn't set with any powder at all that just drank all the powder and it just stayed look at that let's do some blending i just want to make sure that my base is set on this side so the Givenchy just sets your base without no, no sheen. I think I should set both, to be honest, because Makeup Forever is not a setting powder. Okay, so we're all nice and pretty much matte. If you take a look at the models on Sephora, you see they have a little clip. In the video, they're matte, extra matte, and then they go in with the, the HD Skin Twist and Light Finishing Powder. Three-in-one luminous finishing powder that instantly evens out, corrects, and revives your complexion while delivering 24-hour radiance and blurring. Each finishing powder includes a skin tone shade, a color correcting shade, and a complexion reviving shade to enhance your skin. Our innovative, mess-free packaging is activated with a single twist. Hold the base, turn the top counterclockwise, and twist back to its original position. Dip your brush into the well and swirl to mix the powders together. Tap into the bristles and apply to areas you want to blur, starting from the center of your face. Infused with flat pearl pigments, these ultra-fine powders reflect and diffuse light for a soft focus effect. HD Skin Twist and Light Luminous Finishing Powder is available in four shades for every skin tone. Powder. They suggest that you apply it, you know, like this. Um, I guess high points on your cheeks, whatever you want to really... Um, so for buffing powder, I love to use my Sonia phase one which is this guy right here this is a beautiful finishing brush so um yeah this is the one that i want to use i don't have much powder left because i already took it out but i'm still yeah it still has enough powder in there and i'm just gonna go like this So this is the powder. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it has just a soft sheen that I don't have on this side. Let me just dim down my lights just a tiny bit. Can you see that sheen over there? So it's just very, it's just barely there. I know you cannot see a sheen, but that's the, the Glowy Foundation from Guerlain. But this is another kind of sheen. This is this is beautiful. It is a beautiful sheen. Let me light up my flash. So look. And then on this side, it's not as prominent on here. I really hope you could see. And this kind of reminds me of Guerlain's 
pearls. This is the kind of finish that you achieve with the Guerlain's pearls and with the hourglass as well. Total, these ones are some pearls from a few years ago and they do have that slight sheen. Oh yeah, very similar, very similar effect as the Guerlain pearls. Um, let's go ahead and even out the other side. So here, you see I twisted it and I got a little bit more orange, which I like because I felt that it was a little light. Woo! Did you see that? I should have. I should have done that. That's a lot. So let's try above that and ignore Chase. Probably the mailman is here. He always has to make sure that people know that he's here. Well, this is a lot. It is a lot of sheen. So be very light-handed with a product like this. It is pretty. I like it. This powder claims to be perfecting on the pores as well, like blurring on the pores. And I do totally feel like it didn't emphasize my pores here. Let me bring you a little closer. I don't know why I was struggling to like reach you instead of just pulling my lens all the way in. <laughs> so I felt like even here, it did not really emphasize my pores. Like it just, it just perfected everything. I do feel like the sheen is a little light. I'm not gonna lie, like I am medium complexion and I'm thinking that this is, it is a little light, but um, it looks pretty. Let's apply a little blush. So let's apply this Valentino blush. I'm just going to buff everything with the brush. You're very close. I feel like you're very, very close. Um, anyhow, look. It is a glass skin. But I'm not a hundred percent convinced because of the tone like when i swatch my garland pearls the golden ones they just have a more gold shade to them like you pretty much cannot see it it's like it's like this it's like my skin tone right when i swatched our glasses guy like the middle guy radiant light you see it but like it disappears this one though you can see quite light right you can see that it lends very platinum for a medium complexion i don't know let me pull myself together let's set our base Let me pull myself together and I'll be right back. All right, friends. So you can see how glowy this powder looks. I feel like it looks better now that I set it my base. I feel like it adjusted a little bit better to my skin tone. At the beginning, when I applied it, I felt like, whoa, this is a lot of platinum you know sheen and i don't really like that kind of look i like my golden shades i don't really go towards you know 
platinum highlighting things or anything like that um this for a medium powder i feel like it's a little bit light but i don't know i may i may take a look at the tan sheet actually if i go into store that'll be interesting to do a little swatch let me know if you wanted to see it i could swatch it and show you on instagram i feel like when you twist up the cap you know it is very random how much powder you get and which color you get uh but this is quite glowy it's quite glowy and i don't feel like it really blends it to my medium complexion like you can see it's very very sheeny but it is pretty it is very perfecting and beautiful i kind of like it but i like my glow so you know if you don't like your glow on your cheeks just stay far away like look at this it is a lot I did apply the whole thing that was inside because it didn't look like a lot and they tell you to apply that perfect amount for your face and so I went jam and you saw what happened that was a lot but if you go a little bit lighter hand I think you know it's a little bit better I've given you two examples of what this powder kind of like reminds me of and I pulled out an extra one just in case it also reminds me of the Kose cover FX uh, what is this called illuminating setting powder this powder to me is a little bit more of a buffing powder like I don't feel like it's really a buffing powder because the Makeup Forever powder is like more than a finishing powder in my opinion because it's it is so much more glowy than what I'm used to anyways. This one by cover what is this? Why is I can't say cover FX is very glowy too, but it's a um you can see. It's quite light because I have the light shade I picked up the light and that's how I use something like this I only use it just here or even like higher you know like I don't go really close to my pores but because this one said that it was going to be poor like poor blurring I went ham and I don't feel like it really emphasized this area I think that it did really good even though it's glowy I don't feel like my pores look any more enlarged or like you know bigger or that is emphasizing like my texture because I have a ton of texture here acne marks and like bumps and whatever and I don't feel like they're overemphasized. I think that it looks beautiful I went already upstairs and I looked at myself and it looks quite nice I'm gonna insert a clip of natural lighting and you're gonna take a look at what my face hey guys right in front of my living room window this is what the powder looks like as you can see it's quite glowy but not as metallic as it looked on my studio lighting, but still very pretty. A little close up. Yeah. Yeah. So three examples of products that I feel like they're similar. The pearls by Guerlain, depending on the shade. This is the Golden Bees. It's very neutral and beautiful. Very similar. Something like the ambient lighting powder by Hourglass is really catching the light, but Makeup Forever being high in the glowy department, right with the cover effects. So these two like high up there, and then we can have the pearls and then the hourglass if you wanted to have a visual of the glowiness. Alright you guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this powder? Are you interested? Let me know in the comments. Now that the Sephora sale is coming, you may want to pick it up on a sale. Let me know below. Thanks so much friends for your love and support. Don't forget to always share, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye!